Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing Taurus with a clear and concise message from you. Alright. So, Taurus, this was an interesting reading. I don't know. Let me know how it resonates or if it doesn't resonate. I don't know. Whatever. Not whatever, but... Um, yeah. Okay. So, we have someone deciding to go their own way with the Queen of Swords here. Someone deciding to assert their independence elsewhere. The Queen of Swords is about really, truly being serious about having a new life or oh, a new lease on life complete 180 cutting people off things out I mean like she's serious it's not just words with her it's a lifestyle change okay um, so some of you could be experiencing a lifestyle change okay because at one point you felt like you were too subservient, too submissive uh, in situations, too yielding, too okay, well I guess so, and you were coming up as a servant, okay? A servant to someone else, something else. It could even be work. It could be, uh, you know, of course another person or in, in some type of relationship. You might have been coming up that way because someone was giving you money and they felt like that was enough. Or they were giving you money, you felt like it was enough, they felt like it was enough, it was mutual. But now we have the King of Cups. We have somebody who has a lot of love for you. But his love isn't always singular. Is it always just for you? It's for you and somebody else. You and somebody else's. I mean, it's for several different people. He's able to balance out so many different emotions and so many different personalities that um, he's able to deal with a lot of different people. And he also keeps situations and people around just to feed the ego. Even if he's not having sex with them, he loves a lot of attention around him or surrounding him. Because of that, somebody could be ill or have an illness. It could be sexual in nature. It could, I don't know, you know. But because somebody kept a lot of a drama up and frustration and wanted to keep people fighting over them or fighting for their attention or in competition now this person could be experiencing malady or malady where they they are hurt they're so hurt that somebody chose to cut them out and walk away that they are not coping well they're tardy to work they're not functioning there's an inability to cope with this situation. They could not be getting out of bed. Again, tardiness. This person is saying, look, if you call or text, I will answer. Because somebody's not even reaching out anymore. Someone has overcome this obstacle that is this relationship, marriage, business partnership, how they dealt with other people or how they deal how they used to deal in interpersonal relationships they've gotten over that and they've gotten in control of that and they are going in a new direction a new the chariot says new direction new positive direction so somebody is they're out they're out, they're over it they're done and they've left someone feeling this way destitute lonely ignored neglected shut out without lack of confidence either in themselves or their relationship
that person who got shut out, it could be saying, look, we have this union. We need to come back together. It's best for us to, you know, be together and not apart. Let bygones be bygones. Remember what that saying, you know, what that means when someone says, let bygones be bygones. It doesn't mean that I'm changing my mind. It doesn't even mean that I'm changing my ways. Let's just let it be water under the bridge. Let's just let it be, okay? So somebody's saying, let bygones be bygones. You know, let's heal these severed ties. We love each other. Let's come back together. Somebody wants their sexy wife back. I kept thinking off camera, what does this mean? Sexy wife, sexy wife. Okay, so to be a sexy wife, of course, they're attracted to you sexually. They're attracted to you sexually. But they also um, are attracted to the fact that uh, you were faithful. You were... You, you showed up in their life as a wife with, with duty, honor, wanting to see something through. So they want their sexy, faithful, dutiful, honorable person back into their life. Because they might have left you for a gold digger. And they're saying now, I'm so sorry I was an idiot. And being with you is awesome. The cards want you to know that this situation may turn out better. A bad situation, which is this one, may turn out better than you expected. With the surprise card. You may get better results. Maybe because somebody is now realizing that you are... Um, wow, it's for the... You are good enough. At first they were probably putting everything and everybody before you. And now they're at this place of missing you. Not knowing how to come back to you. The water in between, the cups in between. It talks about so much has happened. So many tears have been shed. So, so much drama between the two of you. It's a river now. How do you cross a river? How do you come back? So somebody is not knowing how to bridge the gap here. The cards want you to know, excuse me, that you are good enough. And this, excuse me, this person finally sees that you are good enough. And don't be overly critical of yourself. Um, and a, an apology is in order for you okay and we see that because we already have the person saying I'm so sorry I was an idiot yeah this person might need to raise their karma by doing something good for someone else and they're trying to do that with you they want you to stop second guessing yourself it wasn't you it was them worrying too much about something will attract more things to you or more things to worry about so don't it's time for you to declutter your home and your office and to really just kind of like sort through your life uh take some of those uh energy baths you know get some bath salts and get a meditation practice going because this this really disturbed you and this person pining over you right now, uh, it could be really disturbing you too. You could feel their grief, their sorrow. And the cards want you to, to expect powerful change. Whatever question you have out there in your mind right now, it is a yes. Yes, yes, yes. Over and over again. Expect for your wildest dreams to come true. Expect for something or someone to change immensely, powerfully. 
Expect for you to have the power in the dynamic now. This is your reading, Taurus. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Paper your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.